It was the night of April 4th, and Lawrence police were everywhere. It's been nothing but a celebration in Lawrence on Bass Street. You're not just looking for the kid who's had a few too many beers trying to climb up a light pole. No, that would be the least of our concerns. That's Police Sergeant Drew Fenley, as the real concern that night involved unidentified drones. Lawrence police counted 13 that night, and in some cases, flying close to the crowd. If you look around the world, drones are more commonly being used for bad intentions, and uh, they're being used to commit terrorist attacks. They're being used to deliver explosives. They're being used to deliver chemicals. What's worse, if there was an attack? Lawrence police and every other local law enforcement agency lack the legal ability to stop it. If someone is flying a drone with bad intentions, there's no way for us to, um, to address that threat as the, w the way the law stands right now. It's because the federal government controls the skies. There is expensive and sophisticated technology out there to interfere and maybe even stop a drone in an attack. The feds can use these devices, but not local law enforcement. How long has this been a concern of this department? Uh, in earnest, for the last probably year, we've really started to notice. Deputy Chief Adam Hefley says they're not focused on drone operators flying within the rules. Yet it's this man's job to help represent them. This is a real issue that, uh, that needs to be addressed. Michael Robbins is with a D.C. area-based group representing thousands of drone operators, and he says if you're going to give local authorities what they want... All these things have to be done very carefully, and that's why you know, we still have some questions on, okay, what's the training look like? What are the rules of engagement? Um, what is the oversight of these programs? It needs to be done. It just has to be done correctly. Um, otherwise, we could create as many problems as we're seeking to solve. There's a bill in the Senate right now that would give local law enforcement the legal permission it's seeking. Yet the bill's future remains unclear.